Hello and welcome to Take Time. I am your host, Patrick Marlette, and today let's talk about a lesser known German brand named Damasco. Damasco is one of those characteristically German brands, producing high quality products that tend to be over engineered. Now, while I say over engineered, I mean relative to other brands. You see, where others seek to make a product that's good enough, Damasco looks to produce a watch that is beyond exceptional. However, is the Damasco DS30 series right for you? As with all my reviews, I like to start with the bad and then move on to the good before giving my final verdict on a review item. So without further ado, let's talk Damasco. But before we begin the video, I'd like to personally thank the team over at Worn and Wound for lending this watch in for review. Thank you guys. This is a showroom floor piece, so you'll notice the sticker back there, as well as the case back. This is the proper case back. However, you'll notice there is no literature on it. Uh, this isn't accurate to what you'd see from Damasco, so we won't be looking at the back all too much during this review. Also, in perfect timing with this review, Ilya over at Worn and Wound produced a video on not only Damasco's history as a brand, but their manufacturing process. It is an eight minute watch. I highly encourage you to check it out. Of course, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I'd also encourage you, if you found this review enjoyable or helpful in determining whether Damasco is right for you, to show Worn and Wound just a little bit more love by visiting their sister site, Wind Up Watch Shop, to find this piece and more for sale. You'll notice that this is actually a little bit more affordable on Wind Up Watch Shop than it is off of Damasco directly. Not a sponsor, but they are doing us a huge favor lending us pieces in for review. So thank you again, Worn and Wound. The Damasco DS30 measures 39 millimeters in diameter, excluding the crown guards. It measures 48 millimeters from lug end to lug end, from my measurements. It's 9.95 millimeters thick and has 20 millimeter lug widths. The 20 bar water resistant submarine steel chassis features a bead blasted finish, an AR coated sapphire crystal, and on the inside an ETA 2824. Other notable features include Damasco's crown and patented lubrication system, which we'll discuss in just a moment. And this particular piece can be found on Wind Up Watch Shop for $957. Now, the only negative I see with the DS30 series is that it's a relatively simple design, very similar to a lot of other offerings on the market. Most notably is SIN's 556 series that can be had for more or less the same price with a bracelet option being offered. However, those seeking out a Damasco know there's more to this piece than meets the eye. You'll notice that the case has the look of titanium, but what you can't tell from video or picture is the honest heft of the steel in hand. The watch features a case that's entirely made out of submarine steel that's naturally corrosive and scratch resistant, as well as offering a magnetic resistance of up to 4,800 AMs. It's not heavily advertised on Damasco's site for this listing, but the DS30s are built like tanks or subs in this instance. Damasco's crown system is special in a few regards. Not only does each model feature a decoupling system that disengages the crown from the setting stem when at rest, ensuring that no damage can be imparted on the movement via the crown, but is also triple sealed for maximum water tightness. Now beyond that, the crown tube features patented Damasco lubricant cells that ensure your crown stem is always well lubricated. Again, something you do not observe at first glance, nor would you even know about unless you did the research. It's all just there for you in this unassuming package. Let's break down the aesthetic of the DS30 series. I love the Marksman dial. It makes reading the time easy at a glance, having the dial divided into four separate sections. And speaking of, there is the bare minimum of text here. Their logo, the Damasco name, and made in Germany over at six o'clock, is all that adorn the dial face, alongside a date display over at the three o'clock. That's been placed in such a way not to disrupt the hour marker. Can't complain about a single thing here. This is also one of the thinnest tool watches I've ever had in on the show. At under 10 millimeters thin, it's meant for everyday use and it wears perfectly in that 39 millimeter frame. And although this particular model doesn't come stock with a bracelet, the leather strap it does come equipped with is fantastic on the wrist and pairs extremely well with this watch. I love the simplicity of the strap. It does well with the dial. Now, before I give you my final verdict on the Damasco DS30, I'm going to provide you all with a wrist shot so you can see what this might look like on your wrist. That video Ilya shot for Damasco on Worn and Wound is phenomenal. It really is worth the look. And it's funny because it's only eight minutes long, but I know that guy spent hours not only filming it, but editing it. 
and uh, it was really enjoyable. Do check that out if you want to know anything about this brand at all, or if you just want to watch something purely entertaining. Um, but here is the Damasco DS30 on a seven and a quarter inch wrist for all of your admirers. And when you are going to admire it, it's going to look a little something like this. And here is the Damasco on a seven and a quarter inch wrist. It's funny, every time I saw one of these in ads or photos or just in the wild, and I've been seeing a lot more of these more often, which is interesting. I always thought the case was made out of titanium, but sub steel is the way to go, apparently. It's anti-magnetic properties as well as its anti-corrosive and scratch resistant properties are really phenomenal for daily wearers. I know these are amongst some of the most scratch resistant cases, so if you hate seeing scratches, on your case after repeated use, Substeel is the way to go. And with that 39 millimeter frame, you can tell that this is just the perfect daily wearer if you have an average wrist size at around seven or eight inches in diameter. I personally think 39 is the perfect size, but that's really just me. Let me know what you think is the perfect scale in the comment section down below. My Grand Seiko is 39 millimeters in diameter, so maybe that's why I'm a little biased, but I do find it to be an excellent size for most all wrist. Uh, they advertise this on Damascus site for males and females, so there you go. It's the perfect size. Without trying to impress their customers, make a point of it, or even brag, and they have complete bragging rights in this regard, Damascus DS30 series is one of the most refined and technologically sound entry-level watches on the market. If you are an individual that's fine with good enough, maybe the Damasco isn't right for you. However, if you wanted the best your money can buy, there's a brand offering that. Now, if you found this video enlightening or the least entertaining, feel free to hit that like button. It looks a whole heck of a lot like this guy. If you have friends, forums, or groups that are interested in picking up an entry-level made in Germany watch from Damasco's brand, well, feel free to share this video with them first so they can get another consumer's opinion on the piece. Also, if you're new to the channel, well, welcome. I do videos like this two or more times a week, so if watch content is your thing, feel free to slam that subscribe button. And while you're down there, you can hit the little bell icon just next to that to be alerted as to when my videos air. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette, and thank you for the time.